everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendra Fitzgerald, I'm so glad you're here. Today I have a neck and upper back releasing sequins for you. We're gonna get those muscles all stretched out. If you're anything like me, you hold a lot of tension in your neck and your shoulders, especially right now. So we're gonna work on releasing that tension so you can feel open and free. What you'll need for today's practice is a long band or a strap, a resistance band works as well, and a small ball. Let's get started. We're gonna start sitting. You can do these sitting, you can do them in a chair, you can do them standing, you can do them basically anywhere that is comfortable for you. If you have trouble with your knees, you can absolutely sit in a chair and do all of this. So we're gonna roll the shoulders out, bring the shoulders towards your ears, full rotations of the shoulders, and let your arms come along with you. Just notice if you have any tension in your shoulders that you're kind of creaking over as the arms go back behind you and then take the arms out to the side. So you're gonna flow up and down, one arm up, one arm down. Let's get a little movement here in your mid back, your upper back, good. And then take your arms back out to the sides, close them over, give yourself a hug, and then open wide again, and then close and give yourself another hug. Alternating sides, alternating which hand is on top as you give yourself the hug, and create as much space in the mid back as you can every time you close, opening through your chest as you open. We have two more reps here, opening and closing on your exhale. One more, and exhale, close. Good, now take your hands down to the floor, roll the shoulders out, and then take your right fingertips out to the floor. Turn your head towards the left, <laughs> and drop your chin towards your chest. So you're stretching through the top side of your neck, and turning your head down towards the floor helps you get a little deeper into those upper neck muscles. Good, full breaths here. Keep breathing. Go pretty soft into this. You don't want to yank your neck to the side, but just let the weight of gravity pull your head to the side. Good. Inhale, come back through the center. Go over to the other side. Drop your head to the right. Drop your chin towards your chest and reach through your left fingertips. <laughs> the cat to scratch, it's even better. <laughs> Good. Drop your chin. Breathe into your side neck over here. Right, releasing all the muscles. So those upper trap muscles start at the base of your skull and go over to the top of your chromium process in your shoulder. So we're working in the upper traps right now. We're also going to get to the middle traps and the lower traps in just a moment. So that lengthening and releasing as you stay here and then bring your head back to the center. Good. Roll the shoulders out. Oh, good. And then take the arms out to the sides, flex your palms, and then cross your right elbow over your left. Bring the hands together. If you can't cross your hands, you can bring the backs of the palms together. If you can't cross your elbows, you can just give yourself a big hug. And then lift your elbows high, fingertips forward, drop your chin towards your chest and breathe into your mid back. So here we're stretching the middle traps. They go from your spine all the way out to the tips of your shoulders. Full breaths here into your mid back, spreading between your shoulders, breathing into any tension. If you get to the point of pain, back off a little bit, right? We don't wanna go all the way to pain. We wanna feel a nice, steady, solid stretch in the muscles. One more big breath here. Good, release your arms down, roll the shoulders out. And then take your arms out, cross the right elbow over your left. Other side. Good, reach those elbows high, fingertips forward, drop your chin towards your chest. And again, you can cross the arms if you want. If that feels more accessible to you, breathe into your mid back. Find a lot of space between your shoulder blades all the way down to your mid back. And dropping your chin towards the chest will help elongate through your upper back as you're stretching. And release your arms down, roll the shoulders out. Right. Grab your strap or your belt. Take it in your right hand. Take that hand over behind you and drop it behind your back. And then take your other arm, turn it in so the thumb goes down, reach back and grab onto the other end of the strap. You're gonna pull your arms as close together as possible. If your hands touch, that's great. If they don't, no worries at all. And then drop your ribs back, press your head back into your top arm. That top arm, you want it to be close to your right ear. Good, breathe here, letting your ribs drop back. So you feel a lot of stretch in the front of the left shoulder and in the back of the right arm. Good, one more big deep breath. Release your left arm, take it out, roll it back open. Good, release your right arm and then go to the other side. So left hand holds the belt, take it overhead behind you. Reach your right arm out, turn the palm down, thumb down, and then rotate it in, reach back, grab onto that strap. 
and walk your hands as close together as you can. If you can clasp your hands, then you don't need a belt, right? Draw the ribs back, elbow lifts, press your head back into your elbow and your ribs back into the arm below you. Good, full deep breaths here. You might notice that one side is easier than the other. You have more range of motion than one side or the other. And sometimes that can be indicative of some shoulder issues that you might be having. If you have pain in one shoulder, it could be a range of motion issue. Okay, release your bottom arm, open it back and out. Go ahead and then take your left arm up and overhead. Great, good, roll the shoulders out. Coming back to center, interlace your hands, press your hands forward, reach the arms all the way up overhead. So your hands are interlaced like this, all the way up overhead. And then we'll press those arms forward around your back, look towards your belly button as you're pressing forward. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up overhead and exhale, rounding forward. All right, now inhale, reach those arms up overhead, take the hands behind your head to the nape of your neck, like you're lounging in a lounge chair. And then drop your chin towards your chest, keep your spine long, let the weight of your hands pull your head down. So you're breathing into your upper neck, your back, your mid back, full deep breaths here. And so going light here, you don't have to tug on your head, just let the weight of your hands pull your head down. You might give a little bit of pressure into your hands from your head, but don't overdo it. Very light and easy. Good. <laughs> and then you'll come all the way back up to the center, open your chest. Good. Drop your arms down. Great. Roll the shoulders out. Good. And then grab your strap or your band one more time. Take the arms a little wider than shoulder distance. And we'll take the arms all the way back behind you. So opening through your chest. Stay here for a few breaths. Drop your ribs back. So you're feeling that opening in the chest. And this is a really important part of opening your back because if you're really tight in your chest, can cause a lot of tightness and weakness in your upper back as well. So balancing opening your back with opening your chest is a really great idea, especially in our world of computers and driving and a lot of forward facing movements. Good. And then bring the band all the way back forward again. Good. Roll the shoulders out. This time we're going to take the right hand over your left ear. Turn your head to the side, drop your chin towards your chest. It was a little more intense than what we did before. Left arm reaches out towards the floor. Good, breathe into your side neck and draw your chin back towards your chest. Almost like you're giving yourself a double chin. Good, elongate through the back of your neck. One more breath here. Good, and then come back to the center, release your right hand and go to the other side. Left hand over your right ear. Let the weight of your hand be what pulls you to the side. Drop your chin towards your chest. And then right fingertips out away from your hips. Drop your chin towards your chest and press your chin back. So almost like you're making a double chin. Good. Breathe into any tightness in your neck. Good, and then come all the way back up through the center. And roll the shoulders open. Close your eyes for just a moment, hang out and feel the spaciousness in your neck. Good. Last one here. You're gonna take your fingertips to your chin. Keep your head nice and level. Press your chin back like you're making a beautiful double chin. And then take your head all the way back behind you. And then bring it all the way back. And then do that again. Bring your head back so you're making a double chin. And then take your head all the way back and then back to center. Good. Two more like that. Press your head back. Back of your head is pressing towards the wall behind you, making a double chin. Take the head back. And bring it back up. One more, double chin. And all the way back. Good. Roll the shoulders out, close your eyes. Sit still wherever you are. And just check in. I invite you to check in and see how you feel now after doing these opening stretches and releasing some of the tension in your neck. Can you breathe better? Do you feel more spaciousness? Do you feel lighter? Perhaps if you have a headache, your headache is gone. And take a nice full deep breath in. Exhale, sigh out any remaining tension. Let your eyes open. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that practice and I hope you feel light and airy in your neck and shoulders. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. I answer every question I get. And if you have videos that you'd like to see, please put that in the comments too. I definitely listen to your feedback and a lot of the videos that I film are based on specific feedback that I get from all of you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you're notified every time I release a video and I'll see you very soon. Be well. Thank mm -hmm. you.